Veg Abby, day five on the raw food diet. This is what I had for breakfast. I ate it already. I couldn't wait. I think you know why. Strawberry chocolate parfait. It was hard to resist. Um, I wanted to show you my cholesterol. This is from November 2008, so it was a year and a half ago. It's May 2010 now. And I've gained 10 pounds since I had this cholesterol test, so it may, uh, may be even higher uh, now. I don't know. Hopefully not. I've been trying to be good, but gaining 10 pounds wasn't good, obviously. Total cholesterol, 236. Total cholesterol needs to be 200 or less. So that's 36, too high. Triglycerides, 102, that's good. Should be 150 or less. Uh, HDL, good cholesterol is good. It's 56, should be 40 or greater, so that's good. LDL, bad cholesterol is 160. That is 60 too high. It should be 100 or less. So, I need to lower that by 60, that by 36, just to get to the minimum good level. Um, I want to give you my observations. Uh, still doing good, just blowing my nose in the morning. Haven't had, uh, you know, greatly reduction of the, of the mucus. No blowing my nose all night, no blowing my nose all day. Uh, I still get a little bit scratchy, itchy from allergies. You know, I have allergies to my dogs and grass and dust. But, um, but the mucus is greatly reduced. It's just a miracle. I love, love, love the raw food diet for that reason alone. I mean, just to be able to not have to take, um, you know, pills to try to control my congestion. I mean, it seems ridiculous to have to take that every day. And it's really been great. Um, anyway, what else is good? Oh, this is bad. Um, embarrassing, too. Uh, going to the bathroom has been more pungent, stinky. So I assume the good stuff going in is clearing out a lot of bad stuff in my colon and intestines, um, you know, things like uh, dairy and cheese and hydrogenated oils and, you know, the bad things. I try not to eat any hydrogenated oils, but, uh, and as I understand, they stay with you forever, so not sure they can ever be cleaned out, but if anything could do it, maybe a raw food diet could. Um, partially hydrogenated is even worse, so avoid that whatever you do. It's the absolute worst thing for you. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, been reading the Sun Food Diet Success System book by David Wolf, and it's wonderful. Read lesson two, three, four today and did some more journaling. Um, the affirmation of the day in the book recommended is that your daily habits form your health, and it's totally true. So it's a good thing to remind yourself of. Um, the second thing is... Um, to take negative thoughts and turn them into positive thoughts. And I, I do that with my dreams, but it was nice to just do that with my life. Like, you know, little negative thoughts you have, write them down, and then think of something positive that you could think instead. Um, which is, you know, just to, to create a successful life. You've seen that in many success books and seminars and things, but it's nice to see it applied to the raw food thing. And, um, you know, it's, it's the good stuff. The good stuff is always good, right? So I uh, recommend that book uh, to, to support you if you're going to do the raw food diet. Um, you know, I, it's been good. And um, I, I hope you're enjoying following me, watching me go through this. Um, and hopefully you can share your thoughts. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.